We bloody did it again. Why am I wearing this? Where am I? It doesn't matter because we did it again. You know, um, she says we're wearing a white chiffon scarf to help me spot her. So, um, oh, for fuck. Another game where we very much, if I can use an FPL term, played our bench boost to great effect. So the first half was a bit disjointed. As I said, we let them score early. It's a weird feeling I have for their first goal because I'm pretty sure the Simicast got fouled and I'm pretty sure that their lad was offside. But in a weird way, it was very refreshing not to go to VAR and just be like, okay, fair enough. It's just oddly refreshing just to let it roll. We'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! And thing sucks! The problem with VAR is I find every time now there's any goal, I'm waiting for VAR. So if a team scores against us, I'm like, surely somebody has done something wrong here in the build-up if we're really analysing it. If I can use a wrestling term, when an opposing team scores against us, VAR is like when your favourite wrestler loses a match and the, whoever they have, the commissioner, the general manager, something... Mick Foley or Teddy Long comes out and he's like, I don't think so. We're going to restart this match. And we're like, yes. That's kind of what VAR is like when they rule out a goal <laughs> scored against Liverpool. Like, yes. But then when it happens against my team, I'm very much the wrestler in the ring. Somehow who just can't get past the ropes. Like, where are you from? It's vodka. Absolutely delighted with all three goals. And I'm delighted at who the goal scorers were. Delighted that Gakpo got his goal. Delighted that Jota got his goal. We'll get to Sobosly. Because Gakpo and Jota, they're probably fourth and fifth choice now since Nunes has cemented his place leading the line. Um, and they need goals just like the rest of them. Um, Gakpo, unbelievable. He's got such a great turn and finish. It was similar with the Newcastle goal. I think he scored another one similar to it where he's just got this... He gets, he gets great power in the shots from just almost like a stationary standstill position. I didn't see it, my stream let out. <laughs> Don't worry, my dodgy box, my fire stick is coming. Don't worry. And then Sobosly's goal. I mean... <laughs> I actually just started laughing when it went in. I'm like, this fucking guy. Uh, shit! Did you see that? must have a foot like a traction engine. Oh, has this button been open the whole time? No, that's better. Like, I like him too much to the point now where I don't want him to get injured. I don't want him to ever leave us. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know why this, some, this is something that kind of bugs me a little bit. I see a lot of Gerard comparisons, like, oh, he's the next Gerard, he's the new Gerard. I actually don't like those comparisons. He's not the next Gerard, he's the original Sabasly. Absolutely unbelievable technique for that goal. I mean, make a challenge that will keep it. That's a lovely ball by Endo. That's Dominic Sobers. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Who else has seen this filth? You know what I'm talking about. Who else has seen this filth? I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen a thunder bastard of that magnitude. John Arnaresa style thunder bastard. And then Jota. I mean, first of all, let's talk about Kwanzaa and that goal because... So Kwanzaa just shrugs him off, player tries to go for the foul. I got two words for you. Great <laughs> assist. <laughs> and Jota with an uh, uh, audacious finish. And I loved how... One, I loved how Kwanzaa celebrated more than Jota. Like, he's obviously delighted with his first assist. Um, and played unbelievably on a side note, Kwanzaa. There was a, there was a period even after that where... He was like one-on-one -on -one and very, very Van Dyke-esque positional sense. I actually took me a minute. I was like, who is that? You know the way when you can't, when you can't see when you're watching a dodgy stream and you're waiting for them to turn around so you can see the number. Like, who was that? I was like, fucking Kwanzaa. Yes, man. And he celebrated like it was a goal as well. He's like, yes. That's what I want. Big, that was a big game for him, I think. Uh, but anyway, unbelievable assist for Jota, who doesn't even move. Jota, Jota hates Leicester. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what caused it. But he loves a goal against Leicester. I don't know. Other players singling out for praise. Endo, I thought, was excellent. Very solid. Ben Doak. I, I get the impression that he's, he's over now the um, honeymoon period of being... Hey, I'm actually playing for the first team. I can, I can already sense his Salah-like frustration 
at not getting uh, a goal or assist yet. Uh, Gravin Birch, he he had a great a great performance as well. And Kelleher as well, fellow Irishman, follows me on Instagram. Hello, Quivian. Also played. I mean, he always plays well. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen him put in a bad performance in a Liverpool shirt. Um, he's absolute quality as well. Again, he's he's an understudy to. I mean, what a main man. EFL Cup, another three one, check, and. Um, now we're on, now we're up against Spurs in the Saturday evening kickoff. I mean, it's a big game, man. I want to win that one. But anyway, the point is, be the special team, and uh, and I'm still loving it. And let's just fucking keep going. I'm very much like this with every win. Okay. <laughs> like, all right. Thank you very much for all the lovely support. Uh, over five thousand subscribers now, which is mental. So thank you very much to everyone. All the comments shares subscribes all that um you're very sound so thank you very much and i will be back on monday to review spurs versus liverpool fucking come on and of course up the reds <laughs> <laughs>